My name is Jason Derbyshire. I'm here with Tradelog Software. And today, uh, we have a special webinar event titled Meet Cogenta, the new owners of Tradelog Software. Uh, many of you have probably already heard, especially if you uh, get emails uh, from Tradelog, you probably uh, saw the email that on January 1st, we had a change of ownership for Tradelog Software. So today, we want to give you an opportunity to meet the owners, uh, hear a little bit about their background, as well as their goals for the future and what's important to them. And this is also an opportunity for us to uh, be able to answer some of your questions um, about uh, trade log, about the software in general, and the company and what's important to you. So just a little bit of housekeeping to get us started. I uh, want to talk about the uh, Zoom webinar platform that we are using. Uh, in the top left corner of the platform, you should see an option for audio settings. And this is where you can uh, open up and actually check your speakers, check your microphone, uh, and change your options for connecting to the audio for the webinar. So if you have any problems uh, throughout, you might want to check this first uh, to make sure uh, that everything checks out. Uh, we do seem to be working good. We tested that, so the audio is working. So if you have problems, you might want to check these settings first. Uh, also, uh, we have the Q&A box found on the top left of your little toolbar. So if you have a question, just go ahead and type your question into the Q&A box and hit the send button, and that's going to send it to us. And then we're going to uh, either respond to you directly to your question. Uh, some questions we may respond to everyone if it applies, but I'm going to tell you that some of the questions, we do have a really large audience uh, that's joining us today, so we may not be able to get to all of the questions um, we're going to answer some of the questions at the end, and we'll just, instead of typing an answer, we'll just talk about the answers, so you may not get a specific answer to the question. One thing I do want to caution, if you have a specific question about uh, using TradeLog for your situation or how TradeLog works, this is not a webinar really about the specific details of the software. We'll talk about how you can get support uh, for the software and how you can contact TradeLog support. So if you have like a really specific question, um, we're not going to be able to answer that directly. We'll show you how to ask that of our support team later. Uh, but if you do have a question for the owners about um, their goals with trade log or any of the things that we discussed today, please submit those questions and we'll try to answer those uh, as I mentioned. Um, also, we do have the chat box, which is uh, disabled as far as chatting because we want you to submit your questions through the Q&A, uh, but you can um, check that out and you'll see chats uh, from me as a host. I've already sent out a link to everyone to a survey. I'll resend that again at the end as well. We'd love to have you take that survey. We'll talk about that a little more at the end. Uh, it's very good. So that brings us to the beginning of our presentation. And just to get started, uh, we want to talk a little bit of history of TradeLog software. Uh, some of you I know have been using TradeLog for many, many years. Uh, some of you have maybe just started using the software, and some of you haven't used the software. You just have heard about us, are interested. Uh, the history of TradeLog actually goes back to 1999. Uh, David Icke, who is the owner of Armin Computing uh, and founder of TradeLog, he started building the software and, and selling it in 1999. Now, TradeLog is interesting because, and we'll talk about this a little more uh, in a few minutes, but it was started really as a software tool that could be used to get a history of your trades and at keeping an accurate trade history. And then it became really obvious that this had value when it comes to tax reporting, and that's what TradeLog is really well known for now is as a tax software uh, for active traders, and that's evolved over the years, especially in 2008 when the cost basis reporting legislation was passed by Congress, and brokers then had to begin reporting uh, the 1099 as we now know it. That, of course, happened over a number of years, starting in 2011, and that really changed a lot when it comes to tax reporting for traders and investors. And so uh, those of you who have been using TradeLog over the years, you know that there's been a lot of changes when it comes to tax reporting, and that's been a big focus of the company in the past uh, eight years or so. But now in 2017, we have an exciting change. January 1st, Cogenta Computing acquired TradeLog. And I'm sure many of you, we know because many of you have already asked and had questions, you're interested in what the future holds for TradeLog. Uh, what's, what can you expect to see? What's going to change? And that's what we're here today to talk about. So first of all, we want to start by talking about who is Cogenta, let you get to know 
uh, who this new management company and management team is. And as I mentioned, many of you have already maybe received an email and you've read a little bit about uh, the new owners of TradeLog, uh, Timothy Turgeon, a president and CEO, and Noreen Turgeon, who is the vice president. And we have Tim and Noreen with us right now. Uh, Tim, Noreen, you guys with us? Sure. We are. Hi, Jason. Excellent. Great. Good to have you guys uh, with us uh, this afternoon for our, our webinar. So well, we want to take an opportunity to get to know the two of you uh, a little more. Um, Tim, let's start with you and a little bit of your background. Um, you're not actually new to TradeLog. Your history with the software is kind of interesting. Uh, can you tell our audience about that? <laughs> well, you know, Jason, if you ask the previous owner, David Icke, uh, he'll tell you that uh, TradeLog is his brainchild. I would tend to disagree with him. We've kind of gone round and round about this over the years. <laughs> Uh, because it was back in the mid-90s where you could throw money at the mar market and it was easy to make money. Um, I decided to quit my day job and uh, full trade full-time. And Dave was kind of a weekend warrior trader at that point. But he was curious about how I was doing. And so every day or every couple of days, how's your trading going? Are you making any money? And my, my answer was always, uh, yeah, I, I think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm making money. Well, how much you made today? I, I don't I don't know. You know, and, and the problem was I made so many trades during the day that um, I I didn't know. I, I would know if I was profitable usually or not profitable, but I didn't know how much I was making. I would actually end up a lot of times taking a winning position and close that winning position out, which is the number one, one of the number one rules that you're not supposed to do with trading just to be able to have cash in my account to know, oh, that's how much I made. And uh, so David said, well, why don't you, you know, put, put all this in a spreadsheet? And uh, I wasn't real good with spreadsheets. I said, you know, Dave, you're a programmer. Why don't you write a program for me? And uh, wouldn't you know, a couple days later, he, he comes up to me and says, hey, try this and see if this will work for you. And so I tried it, and it's, you know, it worked pretty good. The only problem was I'm entering, at the end of the day, I'm entering all my trades, which was so boring, and uh, it took a lot of time. So I said to him, I said, Dave, what would be really good is if you could capture these trades from the broker. There's got to be some way to be able to capture these trades from the broker and put them into your program, and wouldn't you know it, a week later, Trade log was born. He, he he hands me this this program. I stick it in the computer, and it was it was fantastic. All my troubles went away. I knew exactly how much I made uh, every day. It was easy to do. Um, but it wasn't much longer. About over over the following year, actually, uh, he would as he was developing the program, I would say to him, you know, Dave what would be really good is if you did this or, or you do that and and he would institute it and so we constantly made the program better and and then it was about nine months into me trading full-time he tells me this horror story about some trader who uh, made all kinds of money uh, one year and then like in january the following year lost it all and because of the IRS rules, he, he ended up owing the IRS a tremendous amount of money. And he ended up going bankrupt. And, you know, that, that kind of scared me and him both. And that's when the IRS wash sale rule came, became so important to us in trade log. Um, so um, I'll tell you, I, I'll let the trader, the, the, the trade loggers, as we call them, uh, decide whether it was David's brainchild or mine, but I still think the somewhat, I, I have a vested interest in the intellectual property. <laughs> All right, well, that's great. Well, uh, at any rate, we know that you definitely have quite a history with TradeLog. Now, Noreen, you also have a background working with TradeLog, right? Yes, I do. Um, I have a lot of experience working with TradeLog. Um, Many times over the years, I've actually found myself working in TradeLog in my sleep, uh, which is kind of scary, but I yeah, actually do enjoy it. I enjoy trading. Um, I majored in accounting, and 
business administration, um, but I also have a background in securities trading. Um, both Tim and I actually had a keen interest in trading at a young age and got our securities licenses. Um, I think Tim bought his very first stock um, at 18 and then earned his dealer's license up in New York. And myself, in my early 20s, um, I completed the CSC, which is a baseline uh, regulatory requirement to be able to trade securities and mutual funds in the Canadian financial marketplace. Um, and I did this while I was working for senior brokers at a Fortune 500 brokerage firm in Toronto. So um, fast forward a few more years, and then I started working for David Icke. Um, I provided customer support for TradeLog, helped him uh, beta test the software, worked at reconciling customers' trade accounts, um, and then did some marketing and web development for him. So one of my proud achievements uh, from back then was actually building and posting the very first series of online help guides to the trade log website. Um, so then you fast forward again a few more years and you'd find me serving as a trade log approved service provider. Um, I provided accounting reconciliation services with TNT accounting for hundreds of trade log customers over about a five year period. So I do have a lot of experience with TradeLog, and I, I think my experience in working with David Icke to help market his company and provide customer support, and then actually going through that entire process as a user of reconciling trader accounts from start to finish and filing taxes uh, for customers in TradeLog, it really gives me now a unique perspective of the software. And I know what our customers really want and need when it comes to enhanced features in the software and, and what kind of support they want. Excellent. Well, quite a history both of you have uh, with the software. So what made you decide then to acquire TradeLog? Well, TradeLog has always been a family owned business. And the last thing I wanted to see was the software being bought up by some large company that might think that TradeLog was a, a competitor and, and lock it up, never see the light of day. And, and really, there's no other software out there that can do what TradeLog does. Uh, so that would leave our customers hanging. And so when uh, David decided he wanted to retire and was looking to sell the company, you know, obviously with all the history we have with it, it just seemed like a natural fit for us to buy the software. Sure, that makes sense. Well, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your philosophy then when it comes to the company. And I think uh, the, the phrase that we were showing on the screen sums up uh, a lot. You know, trade log is a tool, customers are a business. Tell us a little bit about your company philosophy and what, what's important to you. Well, to do that, I kind of have to tell you a little bit uh, about David, um, the programmer. You know, he, being a programmer, TradeLog was his baby. And just like any parent, he wanted his child to be perfect. And so he had a lot of complaints from, from customers that some – we have some big, big-time customers that trade millions and millions of trades uh, every year. And the reality was – with the wash sale it, rule, it's such a complicated uh, thing to figure out. It would sometimes lock up the program. And so Dave spent a tremendous amount of time, him and his, his uh, group of, of uh, programmers spent a, a tremendous amount of time making sure that trade log uh, would go quicker and, and so people wouldn't have to wait for it. Um, he also, and, and he did this really well. He, there's nothing out there like TradeLog that can handle those millions of trades with our big time traders. Um, but at the same time, there was pirating issues that were, were taking place. Um, sometimes, you know, in these trade rooms, uh, one person would buy the software package and give the reg code to everyone in the room. And, and so, you know, that wasn't fair to him. So he spent a, a lot of time take, fixing that problem. And then finally, as many of the traders that have been with us the last um, few years or four or five years actually, uh, the IRS has completely changed the face of trader tax reporting with 
new cost basis reporting legislation. And David somehow has kept pace with all the changes. I remember him staying up telling me it seemed like he didn't sleep for days. He, he, they, the group of them really did a good job. It was a, a tremendous amount of work for them. It's amazing, honestly, when I look back at what we originally started with, that little humble beginnings of, of an Excel spreadsheet, and now he has such a wonderful um, robust tax software program um, that we have today. But really, that perfect storm of all three of those things happening, the, the, the pirating issue and the, and the IRS issue and trying to make it uh, 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 faster for people, it was a tremendous amount of things for um, David and, and the programmers to deal with. And unfortunately, we feel that the customer experience at that point suffered. Um, so that being said, our, one of our, with all these major problems being fixed, we want to focus uh, and improve the quality of our customer service. We're very committed to making our customer experience uh, better and uh, doing our best to give our customers what they're asking for. Did we lose you? No, and Noreen, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? Sure. Um, yeah, I had the um, the good fortune, I guess you could say, of starting to uh, provide trade accounting services uh, with TNT during that um, epic phase-in of those new IRS cost basis reporting rules that started back in 2011. Um, so I experienced firsthand the extreme frustration involved in trying to interpret those new laws and then also try and identify and reconcile issues with broker reporting because the brokers themselves were also struggling to comply with those new rules and the whole situation it was just just painful just plain painful and so now the situation has improved a little over the last year or so because the irs thankfully has refrained from making major changes to the tax forms and rules but um, we're not totally out of the woods yet. Um, 2016 rolls out that final phase of the new reporting legislation. Um, so brokers will now be including what the IRS calls um, more complex debt is instruments on the customer 1099Bs. So, you know, throughout the last few years and all of these changes, I, I really think that David Icke did an excellent job of educating his customers and, and really breaking down complex trade or tax code into simple to understand everyday terms um, for his customers. And we at Congenta Computing are committed to doing exactly that as well. We feel that it's very important to educate our customers. And honestly, I mean, the IRS says the burden of proof is on the taxpayer. So they need to understand what they're doing when they're preparing their trader taxes. So we'll try and do what we can to make this process easier and less painful for our customers. Well, you know, with that philosophy that, that you guys have, especially the focus on, on customer service, uh, what's the vision you see for the future of TradeLog? Um, I, I guess I'll take that. First of all, you know, as we previously mentioned, we want to improve support. Our customers are super, super important to us, and we want to improve their experience with our company and make the very frustrating job of doing your trader taxes as problem-free as possible. That, that is our absolute number one goal. Um, the next goal is making TradeLog more user-friendly because we realize if we can make it easier for our customers to use, it's a win-win situation. It makes our support team's job easier and our customers are happier. Um, finally, uh, we realize that most people use TradeLog to report their gains and losses to the IRS with accurate wash sale calculations, but we really feel TradeLog can be used for, for much more than that. Um, with the current state of broker reporting, we're looking at developing a program with more tools to help traders analyze their actual performance. Um, you know, what's, what's the most profitable day of the week?
for you. Uh, you know, as traders, you have certain days that you do better than others because of your style of trading. You have certain times of the day that you, you make more money. You know, and, and I realize I, I love trading so much. I would sit in the front of the computer all day long, and in the morning I'd make money, and in the afternoon I'd give it back. And you know, if, if I had the if I was able to see that, it took me a long time to realize this. If I was able to see that, you know, okay, I make the most amount of money Tuesday through Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Guess what? I'm going to have a nice long weekend, and I'm going to make only work half days, and I'm going to be the most profitable that I can. So, we want to make we want to help our traders, um, our trade loggers, as we call them. Um, we want to help them become successful traders because we have a vested interest in them. Successful traders need trade log. And I think uh, your history, both of you, but you especially, Tim, uh, having traded very heavily in the past, that's definitely going to give you a lot of insight uh, in making some of those changes. So moving forward, what can trade log users expect to see uh, changed in the software or new? Uh, let's start with the short term. Uh, Noreen, you want to start us off? Well, um, with regards to short term um, goals, where um, we're very proud to report that our short-term goal of improving our customer service is actually already being met. We just this morning, we received a customer testimonial um, saying that our support team did a great job and described um, our company or Cogenta Computing as people who have a complete tax solution with solid real tech support. So that makes us happy. We uh, hope also that our customers will notice that um, the entire tone of our company is a little different. We're positive, we're friendly, uh, we like people, we want to help our customers in whatever way we can. And we already have some great software enhancements in the works um, with our programmers that we know our customers are going to love. So we're just asking everyone to stay posted for updates at this point. And as for me, um, we're, we're sure our customers will notice uh, that we want to communicate with them more. Um, we, we're doing more email campaigns and blog posts. We're doing webinar, webinars such as these um, to help promote ease of use with TradeLog by updating our, our tutorial guides, enhancing our user guides, and making improvements in the software itself. So with those goals of the short term, are there any challenges that you face? Um, yeah, the, really the, the key challenge for us right now is the fact that um, we are now officially smack dab right in the middle of tax season. And while we know that most of our customers would love to have full on phone support like yesterday, um, it's going to take us some time to not only source the right support personnel, but to train them to use trade log effectively. Um, I know from personal experience, experience that the only thing worse than not being able to call a support line and talk to a real person is calling a support line and then dealing with someone who has no clue what they're talking about. Um, so uh, we don't want that to happen um, with our customers. Um, we do expect to be rolling out a new live chat feature on the TradeLog website uh, shortly. So this should help some of our customers who have quick questions that they need answers um, to. But we still find that 98% of the support requests that we receive require our support team to look at the user's actual TradeLog file. So the best way to receive support is still to email us and send your file. And you can do this on the TradeLog website, or you can actually use the Get Help feature right from within the software to do this. So, so during this tax season, we will have some limited phone support. You can call our support line, but um, please be aware that you may not receive an immediate response. Um, you may have to leave a voicemail and wait for a return call. And so please just bear with us during this transition period. Um, we may not be able to provide the level of 
support we would like to immediately during this tax season, um, but we are working very hard to change this. Great, yeah, and I think that's important to stress. Uh, uh, submitting that support request, especially through the software, it's so easy uh, to do. It sends your file and the request. That's really a great way to start, but it's good to hear that commitment to uh, the support, and if necessary, even over the phone. But now longer term, uh, do you have any plans or goals for the long term future with Trade Log? Well, we've had a number of requests to develop a version of Trade Log, uh, a version of Trade Log that's compatible with Mac. So we are exploring that option with our programming team. Um, unfortunately, it's it's a lot bigger undertaking than many people realize. Um, so it's going to take some time, but we, we hear people, we have a tremendous amount of people that want it and, and, and we're going to see what we can do there. Not guaranteeing anything, but that's what we're working for. Um, we're also working to make the end tax year process and the software easier to use, more intuitive, and uh, to add new brokers um, like uh, <laughs> just one Tasty Trade. I love that name. Uh, Tasty Trade is on our list now and and we, we want to add more uh, brokers that we support so you can import from them. Um, and as, as mentioned earlier, we want to develop more trade analysis tools in the software so our, our customers can benefit from trade log year round, not just at tax time. They already can, can benefit it from it year round. And we encourage people to use it year round because it, it makes everything go a lot easier, but even more so. Uh, helping analyze your trades. We've even we've kicked around having uh, uh, a feature where trying to figure out if you're in a, a broken wing condor or whatever these crazy option trades are that you can you can have a feature that will help you um, decide. Okay, it's going against me. Do I get out now or do I give it more time? Um, we're we're trying to figure out how we can do that. It's it's going to be difficult. Again, these are long term goals, so. Stay posted for any for any updates. All right, excellent. Uh, in closing, what would uh, you guys like to say to our audience, uh, some of whom are using TradeLog uh, already, some who aren't using TradeLog? Uh, any comments you'd like to close with? We've got just a couple minutes left. Yes, we, we really would like to um, take this opportunity to um, express how much we appreciate the trade log users who have been loyal to the brand for many years. Um, we're still we're receiving feedback from many customers who have been um, trade loggers, as we call them, for over a decade, which is awesome. Um, and we want to reassure um, them that we're determined to keep them as uh, keep you as a customer, and we'll work to improve your software and your support experiences with trade log. Um, please keep sending us your suggestions and your feedback. Um, in fact, we've created a specific email address uh, for that very purpose. It's just feedback at tradelogsoftware.com. So um, please send us those suggestions and feedback, and thank you so much for being part of the Tradelog family. We really appreciate it. Yes, I, I pretty much want to say the same thing. I, thank you so much for, for being Tradelog customers. Uh, we know that some of our listeners may have had negative experiences in the past, uh, not getting the support help that they needed when they needed it most, or maybe even stopped using TradeLog because they only used it for tax reporting. Uh, so as the new owners of TradeLog software, we encourage you to come back, uh, and those people to come back, give TradeLog another look, see what's new in the software, and, and try out our customer service again. Our goal is to help you be better, uh, a better trader, and make the process of filing your trader taxes uh, a cinch. Excellent. Uh, thank you guys uh, for those comments. And uh, that brings us to the 30 minute mark, which is the main part of our, our webinar today. Uh, as Noreen mentioned, it's really important uh, to get the feedback from all of you who are, have joined us today. I just sent you a link through the chat that you can click on to open our online survey. We're also going to send that link to you in an email along with the recording uh, of this webinar if you want to go back and, and check out anything. So please fill out that online survey. It gives us an opportunity to get some more feedback from you, some of your ideas, your suggestions that you might have to really understand what's important. Uh, but also, as Noreen mentioned, you can send an email 
uh, to feedback at tradelogsoftware.com. Uh, that's a dedicated email uh, just to hear any feedback that you might have, ideas, suggestions, or whatever. We're listening to you. So we wanted to mention uh, that. Uh, before we jump into, uh, we're going to spend a few minutes answering some questions uh, that have been posted by all of you. Before we do that, I uh, just want to talk a little bit about uh, how you can learn more about TradeLog and also how you can get support. And so our website is tradelogsoftware.com. Many of you probably have already checked out the website. But there from the website, I want to highlight a few uh, key things. First of all, you can go to the support uh, section and there's a part there, start here first. That's where we encourage you to go first and foremost uh, if you've never uh, tried out our support. And we're gonna give you all the links you need to the resources for getting started quickly and getting the support you needed. Uh, but also you can uh, go to the support and click get help now and that's going to take you to our online support request form where you can send that out. But the easiest way if you are using the software and you have a technical support question, especially if you have a question about your trade history or your reporting, is to send the, re the request directly from the trade log software. And we have a link here, you can click here to see how and there it explains how to do that uh, specifically. And so uh, you can follow those instructions and that will allow you to submit a technical support request directly from the software. But I also want to show everyone uh, before you leave, if you do have to take off, uh, where you can find more information on our webinars. And the easiest way to do that is to go to tradelogsoftware.com forward slash webinars. And if you do that, it'll take you straight to our webinars page. You'll notice next week we have another scheduled webinar event, How to Use Trade Log Software. We're going to talk about newest features and getting started, kind of an, an entry level using Trade Log. So some of the questions that have been asked today already, uh, you might be able to get answers to those questions uh, in our session next Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have more webinars that are going to be scheduled up and coming, especially talking about uh, tax reporting for 2016 because you are going to start getting those 1099Bs uh, from your broker and you're going to want to start thinking about filing your taxes and we're going to help you through that process. We're going to have some webinars. and You can also check out recordings to our webinars in the past from this same page. So I wanted to make sure and show everyone how to get to that link. Again, tradelogsoftware.com forward slash webinars is the best way to find those up and coming webinar events. So if you do have to take off, we're really glad you are able to join us for our session so far. Uh, we are going to take a few minutes though. If uh, you guys can hang around, we're going to answer uh, some of the questions uh, that we've had come up. Um, one of the questions, uh, maybe uh, Noreen, I don't know if you might be able to answer this question some, is about uh, for tax reporting for the 2016 tax year. Um, where are we at as far as the software? If uh, our users start to get their 1099, are they, is the software ready to use to file taxes for 2016? Yes, the uh, trade log is ready for the 2016 um, tax return filing. There weren't any major changes in the formatting of the form 8949 from tax year 2015 to this year, other than some very minor changes in wording, um, which we have um, incorporated into trade log. Um, so, yeah, our users are, are ready to go to get started reconciling their trades and filing their taxes for but, 2016. But you will need to update your, your trade log software to be able to do it properly. Yeah, and that's important to always make sure uh, trade log is up to date. I think over the years we've tried to really stress that point with users all the time to uh, make sure it's, it's up to date. That's important. Um, all right, and uh, Ralph just informed us it looks like TD Ameritrade is starting to already post their 1099, so uh, brokers are getting a little bit earlier this year. That, that's good, so good to hear uh, people start using their uh, trade law for tax reporting. We had a few questions posted about uh, things like wash sales and uh, some of the intricacies of wash sales. Uh, I thought I'd take a moment too, I'll go back to um, our website, tradelogsoftware.com. From there, we have tremendous resources that have been developed over the years uh, to help uh, traders when it comes to tax questions. Uh, I suggest going straight to the Trader Tax Resources page. That's kind of a 
table of contents for all of our resources. And for example, for wash sales, we have our comprehensive guide to wash sales and the IRS wash sale rule. We've also got some popular blog posts and videos that have been done over the years explaining wash sales for traders. And so uh, this is an excellent uh, resource to check out. Uh, and it answers many questions about uh, wash sales, how they affect uh, traders and investors. So definitely check that out uh, if you have questions about uh, that information. Also, another question that's come up from a number of users, and maybe Tim or Noreen, maybe you guys can answer this, uh, is about pricing. Uh, do you expect to make any like immediate changes to the pricing of trade long? Is the price going to go up? What, do you, what would you say to our users? Yeah, at this point, at this time, we have no um, plans to make any changes to pricing. Um, so, you know, we we once in a while have people uh, emailing us and asking us if we can drop a price. Uh, the, the problem is we're trying to increase our customer support, so uh, we can't we can't do both. We can't <laughs> we have to we've got to keep the price at least the same so that. Um, we can uh, keep up the, the, the good customer service that we're doing and, and going to add to in the near future. Well, the good news is no big price, price increases though, so that's great. So I'm glad to hear that. All right, looking here at some of the other questions uh, that have been asked. And I don't know if uh, either of you had any specific questions that had been asked that you were interested in addressing. Um, I see a question regarding a downloadable print version of the user manual. Um, currently, the website doesn't offer that, but that is definitely something that we could um, create and post to the website. Absolutely. Excellent. Good question. I see a question was asked about uh, 1099. <laughs> Uh, reconciliation when it comes to mark to market clients and that's kind of a, a technical question that we'll get into more when we talk about in our webinar in a couple weeks that we're gonna have about tax reporting uh, but one thing when it comes to 1099s that uh, is important to keep in mind is the 1099 is designed for reporting a cost basis with wash sales and it's really not designed for mark to market clients in fact many brokers if they allow this, they are supposed to, um, for you to indicate that your account is marked to market. Uh, they would not uh, report a 1099B to the IRS because it simply doesn't apply if you're marked to market. So when it comes to reconciling, that's something that we've addressed over the years with TradeLog, is really reconciling the 1099B when you have marked to market. It's kind of a, a no-win situation because you're dealing with two very different types of reporting. So you can learn more about that, again, on our website. I will pull that resource up. Um, under our resources, we have Mark to Market Form 4797. So this explains a little bit more about Mark to Market accounting. Um, also under our resources, we have a section on Form 1099B. And we talk about reconciling 1099B. And we talk about some of the challenges uh, with that uh, in those resources. If you have specific questions about your situation, uh, then you can always contact our support team and we can give more specific answers regarding your situation and your reporting. Okay, let's see if we have any other questions here. <laughs> I like uh, Mark, Mark August's question. Can you Great include question. a feature that guarantees profitable trades? Um, <laughs> we're working on it, I'm not sure that'll ever be accomplished, but we're trying. That brings up something that we were talking about um, earlier before we, we started the, our webinar. You know, when it comes to some of these features too, when it comes to performance features and tools, and the survey that we're asking uh, folks to fill out actually discusses that. We would love to hear what kind of reports, what kind of performance features you would like uh, in trade log software. So uh, for our users out there, if you have an idea, if there was something that you think would help you uh, become a more profitable trading, we'd love to hear it. And it's kind of like your chance to make a wish and it, it might come true. We might be able to develop it and, and add it in the software. So we'd love to hear those ideas and especially um, specific details about what you have in mind that would help you. 
um, because certainly different, hearing that from different traders is great and we can maybe come up with some, some really fantastic features. All right. When it comes to um, service providers, we have a couple of questions about uh, service providers. We have clients who've worked with the green traders accounting in the past. Um, are there still service providers for trade log software? Uh, yes, uh, green trader accounting is still approved. Um, and uh, we're you know, possibly going to be adding others. Um, again, we've got to make sure that they're uh, they're familiar with the software package and, and are able to handle the taxes correctly. Great. All right. Well, I think we've answered most of our primary questions. Um, there are, uh, I think, some of our users maybe that are still with us. You've had some specific questions. If we didn't answer, we'll go back through. We did have a very large audience today. So if you had a question uh, that was more specific, um, we'll try to answer that by email. Uh, we'll try to email you directly. If you don't hear from us, though, again, uh, go ahead and submit a support request and contact us if you have a, a question about uh, the software using it, or if you are interested in the software, you have questions about pricing structure or what version of the software you need, uh, go ahead and reach out to our sales team, and uh, we're here to help you answer those questions and make the choices that you need uh, in choosing trade log. But I, I think it kind of brings us to about the end of our session. We have just maybe a minute or so left of our time. So I want to thank everyone again for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, Tim, Noreen, thank you both very much for taking a few minutes out of your very busy schedules to let us get to know you guys a little bit, know a little bit about your philosophy, your vision and goals for TradeLog Software. And we're really excited to have you guys at the helm of the company and really guiding uh, TradeLog to some new areas, especially when it comes to customer service. So. Uh, welcome, and thank you for joining us uh, today. And for all of uh, those who have joined us, we thank you as well for your time uh, today. We have recorded this webinar session. We'll have that posted up on YouTube uh, as soon as we can, as soon as we get the video processed, and we'll be sending out an email to you with the link. And again, the email also will have the link to the survey, so if you didn't get a chance to do that yet, we would really love to hear your feedback. So go ahead and fill out that survey, and we'll look forward to uh, answering those questions and continuing to develop TradeLog into a fantastic software. Thanks again for joining us and hope to see all of you in our next webinar event or in a future event. Have a great day.